I'm taping myself. <laughs> I don't know. So happy to finally come. We're staying at the Holiday Inn Resort here in uh, Phuket. I uh, I used my points to book this place. Um, I needed two different rooms because my son's here with us and five. Show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty nice. Um, there's a walkway that goes down to the beach. Uh, you do have to go across the street to go to the beach. Um, you know, the Patong Beach is a public beach, so they don't have a private beach, but let me just walk you over here to show you the pool area real quick. This is the main pool. It's got a cool little uh, area here you can swim up, swim up bar. Saw a lot of people actually drink in there. Happy hour four to six, which is kind of nice. So it's pretty nice grounds. I'm pretty impressed with it. I did go to the beach. I haven't swam here yet. Big restaurant over here. On the other side at the beach, uh, if I get a chance, I'll show you that too. There's another restaurant. It's like a public restaurant at the beach. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna check out our room, guys. A little messy probably i think the maid cleaned it hopefully not too bad yeah the bed is made oh that air feels so good so look at this fi's in heaven right here a little makeup counter and her other office this is fi's office right here she does a lot of work in there nice shower my favorite part about this room right here is the shower right here this really comes down a lot of a lot of rain with that rain shower. It's one of the better ones. And here is the room. A little messy, but nice workspace. Desk here. A little couch. Nice soft bed. They give you the good pillows here at the Holiday Inn. They give you the soft and a little firmer. And they're good pillows. Everything's included here in this little mini bar, which I guess why we could have drank those beers and stuff. They said it was all free. I don't know. I didn't drink anything. 100 safety locks to open the balcony. But so, yeah, these are the villas. And if we go right down the stairs, uh, we can walk to this uh, swimming pool. Uh, this bar is not open, but pretty huge TV. I mean, it's a big nice samsung smart tv hd and it's all you have is like shitty cable here that is not hd mm -hmm. okay this we call the hot cup hot cup okay yeah it's a magic cup um let me look oh. wow ramen noodles mm. that looks pretty magical <laughs> this like a magic thing that you Magic. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have to heat it up. It heats up by itself? Yeah. Oh, wow. It looks And how long does that take to cook? It's not longer. We oh. come back when it gets warm. You guys hear that? Look at it. Listen. Mm. I can hear it boiling in there. That's crazy. It's funny. It's like really boiling in there. I bet it's really hot. Should I touch it? Mm. Yeah, oh my god, that's really hot. No hot water, magic pot, huh? Okay, we come back when it's done. Okay. I'll show you the yeah. yeah. It's still like. It's, it's still what? Hear that. Alright, open it up. 
Soft already. Mm. Okay. How they can make it amazing. Yum. The moment of truth, right, babe? Mm. Maybell's coffee garden. And Five Five's got some coffee. It looks uh what'd you get, Jerry? This is the caramel macchiato. Caramel macchiato, and you got the uh cappuccino. Cappuccino. Wow. How do they do that? Get it so like divided with the colors mm. and everything. Alright, Five Five. Try that coffee and let us know how it is. good nice. so five five is doing her pictures now so if the coffee passes the uh, taste test then she'll do her little coffee with five Instagram page and Facebook so I'm gonna take some pictures now of the whole place since the coffee passed Fi's review there's Maybell's little sign they got a lot of area here and Richie just told me they just got their like liquor license. You're just telling me you just got your liquor license or whatever. And so so what are gonna be the hours for the bar here? Uh well, so all day. All day. All day till what time will you stay open when things uh, start getting we're busier? We're start doing barbecues soon and be like five till like nine we're gonna do barbecues in the garden. You should have a shuttle, like get a bus and start you know, going to Patong and bringing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, a lot of tourists, you know, they don't, they don't rent a car. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's working hard, Richie's got her slaving away. So look what Maybell made me, some uh, smashed avocado with poached eggs. And Fi got something different. I don't know, what is that, crispy pork or something? What is it? Garlic pork. Wow. Great coffee at Maybell's. It was so good that Fi Fi and Jared both got another one to go. You know, they don't care because it's my money. Today, I'm in search of the most beautiful beach on Phuket Island. I think this is the Kata Beach or Karan, something like that, lookout point. Uh, definitely worth stopping at. Yeah, so beautiful view from up here. One of my favorite <laughs> spots to stop. So you got the different beaches, Karan, uh, Kata, uh, Patong Beach. I think that first one's Patong Beach. So maybe as you go over there, you got Kamala Beach. So each one of these little coves that kind of come in is a different beach. Let's go search for a beautiful beach. So while you're at the viewpoint here, I think it's the Karan viewpoint. Uh, check out this uh, Rasta guy. His jewelry is off the chain. It's super he is here all the time. Are you here every day? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five Five's looking at getting a little, you know, thing for her ankle or something. I don't know. Very cool stuff. Python bone. Oh, python bone. Oh, oh, python bones. Check that out, guys. Python bones. So we're pulling into Nui Beach, and it looks a little treacherous. I'm not sure if we can drive or we have to walk. So we pulled off the main road, and we're going to try to go to this Yanoi Beach. And look at this road here. Let me zoom in. Uh, there's some guys here. They have four wheelers. They might be able to take us down there. I'm gonna find out for how much. But well, look at that road up there. There's no way our rental car is making it through this. That is crazy. We need like a four wheel motorcycle or something to get down here. Well, we finally decided on Nihon Beach. Uh, it's more of like a public beach, but we were able to park and get to it, and it's really nice. I mean. Mountains, mountains around it, some little islands out there. So, pretty nice area. Oh, there's a uh, windmill up there. Hmm. So, the prices say 200 baht, but we paid 100 baht each for a chair. 
And then you got Fi Fi. Say hi Fi. Say hi Fi. I come down to the water these waves start picking up like Jarrett was just swimming it was totally calm and now I come down here and these big waves start coming that one's not that big there was some bigger ones but so Nihon Beach was really nice and uh, so we left to check on Google and I found this place Unis or Unis but uh, not too far from the beach, and the food just looked amazing. So we came, and uh, I got this like um, chili margarita. Very nice. But wait, you see this food presentation is amazing. The menu, there was like a hundred different things to get. I couldn't. It was hard to decide what to get. So I just told the girl to order for me what's good, and she can bring out this chicken something that she said is really good. Wow. So this is it. It's like a chicken mango. It's got potatoes, hummus, veggies, guac, chicken. And what'd you get? The uh, steak quesadilla. I I got the steak quesadilla. Holy cow, look at Jared's burger. Wow. Okay, this chicken here, I just tried it. It's, it's just excellent. And I never usually like mango, like anything sweet with my chicken, but it's just such a tropical taste. It's freaking awesome. It's also got the uh, avocado on top. This is like a hidden gem. I don't know if it's hidden, but it definitely was a gem. This food was amazing. Definitely recommend. Unis. So good.